Howdy chumps, my name is Mohit. Guys, um, before I actually explain and show you what I've exactly um, done with ActionScript 3 today, let me show you a published preview straight away. Control enter to test. Okay, guys, the picture gallery, the flash picture gallery that you just saw showed you three pictures. Uh, pick one, pick two and pick three. Okay, and they were fading in. That's the first thing that was happening. The second thing that was happening was there was a music in the background that was playing continuously. And the third thing that was happening is whenever... Uh, the button the next button was clicked which is this button in the corner uh, there was a sound there was a click sound and the slideshow would advance to the next picture and uh, it was going on in an endless loop now guys um, everything everything uh, that was happening was happening purely through action script you see this is the stage which is uh, 256 by 256 pixels and as you can see the stage does not contain the pictures if I go to the library the library also does not contain the pictures okay which means the pictures are actually lying externally also if you have a look in the library there's no sound if I take you to the timeline there's just one layer layer one let me call it AS3 or action script 3 and it has just one single frame which has the action script so um, basically this flash project has all the assets lying externally in a folder let me take you to that folder first this folder on my desktop pick gallery external assets let me open it up for you okay guys have a look out here this is the flower file this is the resultant swift file that you just saw and this folder the assets folder contains all the assets if i open up the assets folder you can see that it has a button click sound let me play it for you there you go it also has the background music that was playing continuously and guys we saw three pictures loading one after the other but in the true sense they are not pictures they were swift files and they've been named swf1 dot swf swf2 dot swf and swf3 dot swf let me open up the first swift file for you so basically all that this swift file has is a fade in effect okay let me open up the second one for you okay so it fades in and opens up let me open up the third one so it fades in and open up now how did i actually create these swift files from a picture that's pretty basic guys anybody who knows a uh, uh, decent amount of flash and action script 3 in fact even if uh, he or she does not know action script 3 he can create this uh, subtle fade in effect with a picture so i took three pictures i converted uh, them to swifts and i added the fade in effect all all you need to do is you just need to uh, you know uh, using the motion tween or the classic tween you can give in, give the fade in effect guys that's pretty simple pretty basic so i'm not going to show you how to do that so the external assets have the button click sound have the background music soothing music sound the swift files the three pictures in question so if you had more pictures you would need to create more swift files so basically this is the small preparation work that you need to do okay so guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna destroy the flower file the swift file and i'm gonna redo it the only thing that i'm gonna retain is the uh, action script 
uh, would be uh, you know it would it would be a little tedious to rewrite the script so what i'm going to do is let me copy the script okay let me go back to my local site folder or rather the folder where all the flash files are kept let me say right click let me say new let me say mm, new text document right let me call it as3 let me open it up and drop in the action script that i had copied just few moments ago let me save it all right so what i've done is i'll be preserving the script but i'll be doing away with the flower file so let me delete the flower file it says the action cannot be completed because the flower file is open so what i'll do is i'll close the flower file okay now i'm good to go i can delete the flower file and the swift file let me hit delete and let me delete both the files now guys let me open up a fresh file let me redo the project all over again and let's see how this was actually done so let me hit create new action script 3 button okay let me go to properties and change the size to match the swift files so that will be 256 by 256 right okay all right the next things guys uh, what i need to do is i need to get in a ui loader component so i'll go to components and then i'll uh, search for ui loader there it is i'll drop it and tuck it in the corner right i'll make sure that it's stuck exactly in the corner so i'll make sure that the x and y are zero each okay that makes sure that the ui loader is exactly in the corner of the stage let me give it an instance name of ui loader l capital okay let me save the file loading external assets simply because all the assets in fact five in number those three swift files and uh, two music files guys are all kept externally cool and at the same time guys i would want the scale content to be off which means see guys ui loader component is a component that is used to load external assets inside the ui loader okay i would want all the pictures that are coming in should not be scaled down to the size of the ui loader because the ui loader is actually 100 pixels uh, in width and 100 pixels in height i wouldn't want that to happen that's why i don't want the scale content to be true okay let me uh, rename layer one as as3 at the same time let me click on the ui loader i would want the initial or upfront source of the ui loader to be assets if you remember guys assets the folder that's uh, keeping all the external assets forward slash swf1 dot swf okay that's uh, one of the swf files kept inside the ui loader sorry kept inside the assets folder bigger part okay let me just hit control enter to test if everything is happening perfectly yes as you can see the ui loader has actually loaded the uh, first picture in okay and now guys what i need to do is i need to get a button out here as well which will uh, take us to the next picture again and again so let me open up the buttons library let me scroll down to um, a folder called classic buttons inside which guys let me go inside uh, playback in fact in fact it was circle buttons so let me pull out this button circle with arrow let me keep it in a corner okay let me increase the size let's say to a 30 
okay let me using the alliance panel make sure that it's stuck to the right edge as well as the bottom edge right okay so I've got the button at the right place I got the UI loader at the right place as well let me give this button an instance name of uh, next VTN now the instance names of the UI loader and the button should match whatever is there inside the actions panel at the same time guys let me open up the actions uh, panel and let me drop in the action script in fact uh, it was copied to the clipboard so I didn't need to carry it from the notebook you know notepad right let me save things up let me test if everything is working properly then I'll come back and I'll explain the action script here control enter to test cool uh, the script is firing just the way I wanted it to okay now guys um, as I said this project is all about uh, loading external assets the click sound the background music and uh, all the swift files that are being loaded inside the flash interface from outside has been spurred on or has been actioned only by action script okay well, let's understand the script guys in line number two I've uh, declared a variable i and I made it equal to one in lines four and five I've created two more variables guys uh, sound clip one and sound clip two uh, which will be holding uh, the soothing music uh, background sound as well as uh, the button click sound guys okay so the way to do it is I've used the load method and through the URL request class I'm pointing to the assets folder inside which we have the soothing music dot mp3 which is the background music inside the other variable sound clip 2 using the load method and the URL request class I'm pointing to the button click sound which is uh, the button click dot mp3 uh, sound is inside the assets folder right guys in line number 13 I am instantiating a sound channel because I need the background music to play in a sound channel okay so the, the name of the variable uh, variable is sound channel SND channel right camel casing in line number 16 what I've done is I've added a, added an event listener to sound clip 1 okay the, the background music and I would want that whenever uh, the event is complete basically when the sound loads completely I would want a function called on complete to fire okay now guys these are all optional even if you don't write these three parameters it's absolutely all right uh, I would want on complete to fire and as you can see the function on complete place the sound clip inside the sound channel uh, this parameter is the starting point guys and that is this is uh, 1000 is the number of times this the background music will loop basically uh, an endless loop you know not literally but uh, practically 1000 times is, is quite a lot so endless loop practically but literally it will stop after 1000 uh, looping 1000 times anyways that, that's a high number pretty high number okay also guys what I've done is to the next button now the next button is this button that button that I brought over and uh, from the the buttons library and tucked it in the bottom corner bottom right corner right I've added an event listener to that so whenever the button registers a mouse click I would want a function called click handler to be executed and through the function let's see what I've actually done I made sure that the I increments by one every time somebody clicks on the button okay if you remember guys in line number two you can actually see that 
the variable i had been given a value 1 now if somebody clicks on the button uh, it becomes 2 then if somebody clicks again it becomes 3 okay and line number 6 is where all the magic and all the logic lies I made the source of the UI loader equal to assets forward slash plus swift plus i plus dot swf when i is 1 the source becomes assets forward slash swift one dot swift that is one of the swift files lying outside in the external folder C. Uh, the resultant will be assets forward slash swift one or swift two or swift three depending on what the value of i is okay dot SWF or it could be 2 out here or it could be 3 out here okay so depending on what the value of I is this is I guys I out here depending on what the value of I is let me save it up uh, the source of the UI loader will change line number 29 says the moment I becomes 3 make reset I to 0 okay right so that is responsible for I going from 1 to 2 to 3 back to 1 to 2 to 3 okay so that is the way uh, I'm able to loop the pictures and in line number 28 guys I'm playing the sound clip 2 okay using the play method and if you remember guys sound clip 2 is holding the button click sound this holds the button click sound whereas uh, sound clip 1 was holding the background music sound right so guys uh, before I terminate the tutorial let me tell you that this uh, flower file uh, and all the assets if you want the assets can be downloaded from my website okay which is http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net sorry downloads right So guys, you can have this flower file and all the assets from this link. Okay, so let me save the file. Let me hit Control Enter to test once again. Okay, guys, working to perfection. Just want to tell you, instead of three, if you were using thirteen pictures, you would just change this. Uh, value to 13 if it was a hundred you would change this value to a hundred anyways so that's the only modification that you would need to do just in case you were using more pictures or in the true sense swift files all right so guys i hope you like this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it uh, and i hope to see you very soon with yet another tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace